thank you so much guys uh, for all this um, grand support that you guys have given to my channel again um, what you're seeing here is another uh, release of URP 1.1 1 .1. uh, per drag did this again he uh, he's at it so what he did is uh, he enhanced a little bit more on the visuals on P3D uh, that is version 3.4 point twenty two and um, to get these effects um, I will show you again how to how to get these effects it, it is pretty simple it's almost the same thing as from the, the, my previous video he did add a little um, another effect called Lightroom and that's through reshade and I'll show you guys how to do that so the first thing you guys are going to do is go to his website um, it's called ultimate realism pack that weebly.com and I will put the link in the description below and where you're gonna go is um, go up here where it says downloads and you're going to download um, this right here um, it'll be in a zip file uh, once you do that you're, it's gonna be most likely in your downloads page uh, in your computer wherever you might set it up and um, where I have it um, I put it up in my um, my desktop here so um, for it's easier access um, you're going to see settings like low contrast and he he put up um, settings his settings here uh, this is for low contrast and then you're gonna have um, for high contrast I did change it a little bit um, for my liking um, 1.40 it is a little too bright for my liking um, it might be just because of how I calibrated my monitor but um, what I suggest you do is just play around you know you don't have to follow these but um, it's just the recommended that what he's done um, you have a readme file in there that will show you everything how to do and within these folders you will also get another readme file within them um, how to install the Sun and it, it's gonna show you you know instructions um, I didn't do it but um, but you know you there the option is there um, the first thing I did in order um, a big thing for him is um, to use the sky textures that are in his files that will pretty much get you the effects that he has shown in his video that he um, uploaded back in April um, so it's pretty simple you open up textures right and um, you're gonna go to where you have P3D installed and you just hit what I did to get there is you right click and you hit open file location um, once you select all you're gonna select all of that and you're gonna go into textures and you just paste it in there uh, you select yes um, that you're gonna copy and paste and that is it for that pretty simple stuff um, the next thing you're going to do is um, you're gonna go back once you're done with that you're gonna go to PTA uh, PTA now uh, it's been it's been um, been around for a while now and it's constantly being updated uh, right now it is the version 2.11 I believe and uh, before you update it if you haven't done so I'm gonna show you what to do um, so you don't run any problems so it is um, 2.11 uh, it's gonna tell you if you haven't updated it it'll tell you um, to f go to their website and that's pretty much it you download it and you put PTA wherever you want it uh, but before you do that you I want you guys to do this or I restore original P3D shaders and that will remove any red um, text if you once you updated once you updated um, and, and you want to grab one of these uh, presets you're gonna go to uh, preset open you're gonna go wherever you put ultimate realism pack in my case I put it in my desktop so that's where it is you go to PTA tools and you just select the one you want um, I chose high contrast and it says no reshade but I am using reshade just for the simple fact that I like those darker shadows or those darker lines to be visible um, so you hit that you know and it'll reset all your uh, when you go to actions you hit apply preset or you can hit F9 there's a shortcut also it'll delete all your shaders and if you select if you um, set up PTA right it will delete them automatically now you don't have to do a thing uh, manually unless you have to and it'll tell you where where that um, folder is 
um, pretty simple stuff. The next thing you're going to do is um, you're going to download Reshade. If you choose to download Reshade, a simple thing, you want to grab these three files, right? And you're going to go back where you have P3D installed and you just drop them there. Um, I'll show you. Uh, Reshade and shaders, it's right there. Okay. The next thing is uh, you put these two um, in there. Um, let's go in the R right here. I'm going to delete this one because I don't use it. Or I guess I can. I'll just leave it there just in case I, I might need it one day. Um, but then what you're going to do, you're going to download Reshade. And um, Predrag, he, um, he put where to download it, actually. Um, you're going to go Reshade, and it's in the instructions. And it's right here, reshade.me. Pretty simple stuff. So once you do that, um, what you're going to do is hit Reshade, hit Administrator. And it's the version 3.06. Um, you're going to select the game. In our case, it would be P3D. And where you find that is where you have um, P3D installed. In my case, it would be in the G file. That's separate SSD. You hit open. And then you're going to hit 10 plus because it's uh, direct uh, 11. You hit yes. You wish to standard effects from blah, blah, blah. You select yes. It's downloading. Once it's download. You're gonna uncheck all of them, okay? And per drag, he has the uh, instructions in there. And what you're going to only select is ambient light. You're going to select TPX, and you're going to select sepia. You hit OK, and it's done, okay? Then you're going to open P3D. Right click, run as administrator. You let it load up, and yes, I do have this backlash, backsplash. So don't judge me. So once it's opened, um, before you even get to this menu, you're, uh, you know, I'm just gonna select the plane real quick. Uh, let's check the uh, stripes, and let's go start at a uh, Friday Harbor. And to see these effects play, you're gonna hit day, and you just wait until uh, it loads up. Once it loads up, um, you're gonna see it right here, right. Now to select the files, um, what he has, you're gonna hit Shift F2, and it's the welcome, you know, welcome to reshape, blah blah blah. You continue. You're going to select um, the uh, the preset that you chose. I like cold. I'm gonna hit continue. And you're going to see the effects being applied, and um, if you select them and it turns blue, like that, that's when you know that they're being applied. Okay. You go into settings, and you're gonna put it in performance mode and um, once that is done you make sure that the um, effect search paths it's in the same um, shaders right here okay texture paths also right um, and that is it and you can tell you know I'm at 60 frames per second you know and I'll show you my, my settings here in a little bit uh, but you close it once you're done with that you, you just close it right and you get these beautiful effects You know that that he has worked on okay sky By the way, um, I'm using the sky the clouds textures from Rex 4 and that is number two um, So if you, anybody was wondering that's what I'm using okay the skies the sky textures I we already talked about um, the for drags so my settings, um, I am using a, uh, a ultra wide monitor from LG. It's a 3440 by 1440, but I am using DSR uh, just because I, I want to use those 4K textures. Um, my, uh, if you guys see in my channel description, you're going to see my, uh, 
my computer specs. Um, so that's what I have. Uh, but if you want to copy these, um, like I said, it's a 6700K at 4, 4, uh, 4.8, 16 gigabytes at 3000 megahertz. <clears throat> I am using a, a pro gaming motherboard from by Asus, uh, the 1080 uh, for the win hybrid by EVGA. And um, all of them are IO coolers, um, no, nothing custom here. Um, but anyway, uh, if you go to scenery, we go to scenery. These are pretty much what I have. And my lighting. Now, in high contrast, what Project has recommended is 1.40. I personally don't like it. Uh, it's too bright in my taste. Um, that's because of how I calibrated my monitor. Um, I have it at 1.20. And that's pretty much it. Okay. So you get those beautiful, dark, rich colors. Um, the darks really pop out. You know, and um, let's go outside real quick. Uh, for the cameras, I am using Chase Plane, and they really did a good job, I think, in, in, in this software. Um, I used EaseDoc for a while, but I find that Chase Plane is a little bit more simpler to use, it's easier to use. Um, now, if you don't like that blue tint, you guys see you can turn it off you know I hit scroll lock as my um, on and off and let me see I don't think it's set up let me check real quick just because I, I effect toggle key scroll lock there you go close there you go so this is his preset normal preset with high contrast here comes cloud or Independence Day the aliens just joking but um I, this is what it looks like without reshade you know it looks a little duller uh, not duller but darker and this is with reshade and I personally like this effect I like the um because like how he mentioned in a, in a post yesterday that you have moisture in the air so you're going to get that natural um, smoky look and that's how it looks really you know I, I, every time I drive to, you know in the sunny days that's what it looks like you know it looks pretty bright out so anyway guys um, hope you enjoyed this video I'm sorry for all that talking if you like this video hit a thumbs up if you didn't well you get a uh, thumbs down if you want to see some more don't forget to hit the subscribe button and thank you for all the support again you guys really did uh, been helping me out and getting my channel up and running I am planning to uh, do other things um, do other simulators um, next thing I'm gonna be doing um, some explain uh, hopefully here in the near future anyways guys happy Monday and enjoy the rest of your week thank you guys have a good one